I huna and siya nasiya. Now, um, before I talk on the importance of traditional indigenous um, foods, I have to highlight that any knowledge um, that I hold or the wisdom that I share is the result of the hard work of generations of um, my ancestors. And I would like to, um, to acknowledge them, to honor them, and to um, welcome them here with a song. Oh, 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 you know, my dad always used to like to say, when you have um, my young ones, you hand the oldest one over to your mom and your dad. And, you know, I'm actually pretty sure that he really liked that because that's what he did with me. <laughs> but my grandma was magic. Oh, my goodness. And she made the most amazing smoked some salmon. And... When she did, everybody would help. All of the aunties would come. All of the uncles would come. Everybody would work together. Even the young ones had jobs to do. Everyone was included. And, you know, when I was in her house, you know, when I was young, there were always lots of, like, children there. And you know how the, like, children are. They can be loud, getting loud in the house. And so she'd say things like, Asha, everybody go outside, go on! And so we'd run over to the front door and put on our shoes and our jackets and we'd be just about outside and she'd reach into the kids and she'd yank me out by my ear and say, no, nah, you, you got work to do. <laughs> I thought I was in trouble all the time. It was really, all these years afterwards, it was the most amazing apprenticeship you could ever ask for. Years later, um... I went away to become a chef. I worked in all these restaurants all over the island, all over the place. But as I was out there in these restaurants, I realized that there's no indigenous like foods. What I was used to at home wasn't out there. It really wasn't out there. And there was this like one chef I'll always um, remember. He was adamant that cedar plank uh, salmon was the traditional food. I had to let him know that we didn't have convection ovens. <laughs> and he thought I was crazy. I thought he was crazy. Everybody was crazy. So I ran away home. And I got 
the best job in the world. I was the elders like chef for years, for a long time. All day, every day I was with the elders. You would hear the language, you'd hear about the food, and you'd hear about it, how it all um, links, you know, it, you know, like into who we are. It was like a, a university level um, cultural um, education, and it was mine. We had this um, one elder there. He really liked, you know, like to uh, uh, tease everybody. And anyway, one day, you know, he uh, uh, um, says to me, Hey, nephew, over here, over here. Okay, so I walk over to him. Come here, come here, I gotta let you know something. So I walk over to him, and he, all the way down, he really wanted me hunched down, so hunching. I said, what is it, uncle? He says, nephew, our foods are why we are strong, nephew. We're strong. And I said, oh, yeah, we eat this good food and get big muscles. Look at my muscles, uncle. Ah, Sha, not your muscles, he says. Listen. Listen, our food is why we are strong, nephew. I said, oh yeah, we eat this and then we get so smart from all these nutrients and things. He says, no, it's so much bigger than that, nephew. So much bigger. And so for years, I was kind of wondering what that was all about. But as I began working on um, smoked um, salmon, I really realized how much is truly involved. I have to have a smokehouse. I got to have the right wood. I got to know how to light the fire. I got to know how to um, cut and hang and salt and like dry the fish. And you know, like if I want to do that, I got to have a fish. So I got to (laughs) know, right? You got to have a fish. (laughs) And so you got to know what kind of a fish. Do you want chum salmon or a sockeye salmon or a chinook salmon? And do you want a male or a female salmon? And what do they look like? And when do they run? And where do they run? And where can you harvest them? And after you have all of that information, you got to harvest it. And you got to know how. And where I'm from, we use either a, um, a dip net or a spear. And um, those things, they really um, take a lifetime to learn how to use. I'm only really just um, now um, learning uh, um, the ways to use them. You know, but these like tools are not commercially available. It's not like you can head over to um, Walmart and you know they're there for sale. So you have to work with, you know, like an elder. You have to um, walk into the woods with an elder. You have to um, learn, you know, the wood you use to do, you know, the hoop of the net. You know, the wood you use to, like to design the rod of your spear, and all the um, language and all the um, teachings that all revolve um, around that. And um, we learn all that when we're young. As I said, we're all there together. And um, we learn the language, and we learn about our food, and we learn how it all links to our culture. And, you know, the reality is that um, if we don't eat smoked salmon, um, none of that happens. There's no smokehouse, there's no harvesting, there's no having to know exactly what, exactly when, and exactly why. It's all lost. And smoked um, salmon is just the tip of the traditional foods um, iceberg. You've got uh, um, herring roe and like ulican oil and like moose meat, and they all have you know their own highly um, complex food systems, and they're all more and more rare. You know, at home um, when I was young, there were hundreds of smoke houses on the reserve. Hundreds. Everybody had one. Now. There's maybe nine or 10, and you know, that's probably a really like high amount. And when I travel here to the um, capital of our province, I can um, count the indigenous restaurants on one hand, 
and have uh, uh, my fingers to spare. So I think I've solved um, my uncle's riddle now, and it's our foods create our culture, and our culture is why we are strong. And so therefore, revitalizing indigenous food systems revitalizes indigenous um, culture. And I think it's really uh, time now that the world woke up to the power, the beauty, and the flavors of indigenous foods. Oh, <laughs>